18. Determine the oxidation states of the elements in the compounds listed, and none of the oxygen-containing compounds are peroxides or superoxides. And we have our first one of the bunch. We need to know the oxidation states, aka the charges, of hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen in H2SO4. So I'm just going to write it over here. H2SO4. Perfect. Now, we've done tons of problems like this already, right? And we have our little chart over here to help us out. We need to memorize the oxidation state trend for the periodic table. If you guys want a more in-depth explanation as to why these charges are what they are, you could go check out number 16A in the playlist here. Uh... I think the, the, the button will be at the end of the video, like the playlist button. So you guys can go and check that out. But I, I think we got this. Now, the first thing that we have to realize here is that there are three elements here that we have to figure out the oxidation states for, right? Or the charges. I need to figure it out for hydrogen. I need to figure it out for sulfur. And I need to figure it out for oxygen. When you have to solve four uh, elements that are more than two, so three or more elements in your compound. The easiest way to find out the oxidation states is doing a little algebraic equation, okay? Now, the, the trick here is that majority of the time, you will know the oxidation states for the end elements, so on the two ends, but you probably won't know the oxidation state in the middle. So basically... You already know two out of the three answers already by the chart. You just need to solve for that middle guy. And in this case, the middle guy, the tricky one, is sulfur. We're going to find it out by doing a little bit of algebra. I love algebra, right? Don't you? Don't worry. It, it will be fun. <laughs> so let's break it down. Technically, we have hydrogen, right? We have sulfur and we have oxygen. And... They're all coming together, so literally addition, right? And when you make the compound, the elements will come together to always form a total charge. Now, where is the total charge on the compound, right? Either here or here. The total charge is always going to be represented in the upper uh, right-hand corner. I had to look at my hands for that. Uh, just know that I still make the L's, and I know that the right L is left. <laughs> Uh, so the upper right hand corner of each one of them, but here I, I see nothing, right? So what number is going to go here? What's the total charge? Well, it can't be negative and it can't be positive. The only number that's not a positive nor a negative is zero, right? So if you don't see any charges, that literally is a zero. So this whole total charge, when these three uh, elements come together, they will equal zero. So just keep that in mind. And I'll put maybe a little slash here just to differentiate between oxygen and a zero. Okay. Now we're setting up our algebra. When we are setting up our equation, you need to know two things for each element. You need to know how many you have. So how many? And you need to know the oxidation state of each element. So it's kind of like a little chart. Let's start with hydrogen and we'll work on how many we have, right? So I look at H2SO4. It's literally H2. So I have two hydrogens, right? Sulfur, literally it's just an S. So there's a secret one here. So I have one sulfur and then it's O4. So I have four oxygens. Cool. Now let's work on the oxidation states. Remember what we said before, that you're probably going to know the oxidation states for the ones at the end. You're going to solve for the one in the middle. So let's just start off with that. I don't know the oxidation state for sulfur, so I'm just going to label it as X. This is why we need to use algebra. But now I'm going to use my trend to find out what the oxidation state for hydrogen and oxygen is. Hydrogen is up top here, right? It's in group one. And majority of the time, 
hydrogen is going to want to be a plus one charge. So I'm going to put a plus one here. Oxygen, now they gave us a little hint. They said none of the oxygen containing compounds are peroxides or superoxides. So that means that you're going to follow the trend. Oxygen is over here. If it's not a peroxide or a superoxide, the oxygen is a negative two. So I know that. Now, all that you have to do is multiply the numbers that you know for each element. So now here comes the actual algebraic equation. Keep in mind that, you know, everything is being added here, right? So multiplication for hydrogen, two times, so I'll say two times a plus one is just two, literally plus, so plus one times x, one times x is x, right? Plus, so plus four times a negative two, is a negative eight. And remember, it always equals the total charge. So now I'm just gonna put, this all has to equal zero. Well, plus a negative eight is the same thing as just saying, you know, minus eight, right? So I'll just clean that up. Oh boy, I don't wanna take that periodic table with me. There we go. Now let's just do some math, right? We can do two minus eight. 2 minus 8 is a negative 6, so I'm just going to clean that up, right? And solve for x, right? x wants to be by itself, so I'll just plus 6 on both sides. And we get x equals a plus 6. This was the charge of sulfur. Now I know all three oxidation states, and that's what the question was asking for. So... In the upper right-hand corner, hydrogen was a plus one. It lost one electron. The two hydrogens, each one of them lost one electron. The sulfur was a plus six. It lost six electrons. And then the oxygen, if I could just write it down here, the oxygen was a negative two. Each oxygen gained two electrons in order to make that compound of H2SO4. And just note that, you know, look at the sulfur here. The sulfur, going by the chart, is a negative two, but that's not the case. So that's why you have to use algebra to sometimes solve, okay? And there you go, those are your oxidation states. So guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. If it did, uh, let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. That would help us out. It gets the word out there that, you know, this service exists. And thank you so much for that. I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye.